So you've heard all about the CFA, the Chartered Financial Analyst Qualification, and how it will help you break into buy side, investing, and sales roles within fund management. But what do you know about the FRM, the Financial Risk Manager, another widely recognized, highly respected qualification that thousands of financial professionals are taking now more than ever? This video is kindly being sponsored by the amazing team over at Analyst Prep. Hit the link in the video description below and use the code AFSAL20 at checkout to get 20% off all their CFA and FRM resources. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I've done lots of videos on the CFA qualification. However, today is the first video on a topic that a lot of you have asked me to do, and that is on the financial risk manager qualification, otherwise known as the FRM. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The FRM designation is an international professional certification offered by GARP, the Global Association of Risk Professionals. It's meant to be quite a tough qualification, but arguably one of the best for careers in finance and risk management. Career options for FRM holders include Chief Risk Officer, Risk Within an Investment Bank, Senior Risk Analyst, Head of Operational Risk, Investment Risk Management, so on and so forth. The exams test knowledge of the tools used to assess financial risk, such as quantitative analysis, fundamental risk management concepts, financial markets and products, and risk modeling. With over 50,000 certified FRM professionals globally, and this number increasing every year, if you're interested in getting the letters FRM after your name, here's what you need to do. One, you need to pass level one and two of the exam. Two, you need two years of relevant experience. Three, you need to be a member of the GARP Association. And four, you need to do at least 40 hours of CPD. For those of you wondering what CPD training is, it's basically voluntary training hosted by vendors across the industry on things like ethics, risk management, specifics, diversity, inclusion, so on and so forth. Don't worry, you get a lot of access to CPD training at work and online, and it's one of the easiest parts of securing the FRM qualification, so don't worry about that. The average salary of FRM holders is typically between $50,000 and $165,000, and the typical careers that they work in include investment banks, asset management firms, non-financial companies, insurance companies, consulting firms, hedge funds, startups, tech companies, credit agencies, government and regulatory offices and more. So if you're wondering what type of topics are covered throughout the financial risk manager qualification, there are two levels and in level one, the topics include foundations of risk management concepts, quantitative analysis, financial markets and products, and valuation and risk models. The level one exam consists of 100 multiple choice questions and you get four hours to sit the exam. The level two exam consists of 80 multiple choice questions and you also get four hours to sit the exam. Level two includes six topics and these consist of market risk measurement and management, credit risk measurement and management, operational and integrated risk management, liquidity and treasury risk management, risk management and investment management, and last but not least, current issues in financial markets. If you're currently studying for the FRM or or you hope to do so, you should definitely consider using Analyst Prep as a resource to help you pass. They've got a ton of study notes, practice questions, mock exams, and video lessons that you can use. They cover every chapter of FRM level one and two with over 93 hours of video content, as well as tons of other resources, which I'll show you now. So this is the dashboard and you can see how you're performing relative to other Analyst Prep users, and you can see your progress in each of the different topics. And then we've got the question bank. Here you can access questions specific to each topic and there are lots and lots of different questions for each topic. And then we've got lots of different mock exams which will always be useful for you. And then we've got a section dedicated to customizing your own quizzes. So if you feel like you want to create a quiz with X number of questions on a specific topic, Analyst Prep allow you to do that. And then we've got the chapter reading. So if you feel like you need to brush up on a few topics or chapters, those are all available in your account. And last but not least, they've got tons of high quality video lessons that will help you cement the key concepts and ideas in order to help you pass the exams. Analyst Prep have over 50,000 satisfied customers and best of all, their products are cheaper than what you might get elsewhere in the marketplace for similar products. If you want 20% off all their programs, whether it's CFA or FRM related, you can do that by hitting the link in the video description below and then using the code AFSAL20 at checkout. So GARP, the Global Association of Risk Professionals, announced that the FRM is going to move to computer-based testing in 2021, so similar to CFA. So the last paper-based exam for part one was in November 
December 2020 and the last paper based exam for part two will be in May 2021. There's going to be three exam windows to take level one. So that's going to be in May, in July and in November. And there's going to be two exam windows for taking level two. That's going to be in May and November or December. If you're interested in taking both level one and level two on the same day, you can. However, they will only mark level two after you pass level one. So they'll check your level one score first. If you pass it, only then will they mark level two. As some of you may know, the typical study hours recommended for CFA levels are around 300 hours. With the FRM, it's between 200 and 250 hours. So not as much, but still a significant amount of study time required in order to get a good level of understanding to pass these exams. So the financial cost of doing the FRM isn't as expensive as the CFA. There's a one-off enrollment fee, which is $400. And then if you do early registration for level one, it's gonna be $550. And if you do the standard registration, it's gonna be $750. So anywhere between $900 $150 and $1,150 for level one. Now for level two, you skip the 400, it's just the $550 for the early registration or the $750 for the standard registration. However, these are just the costs for registering and setting the exams. What you need to take into account is, you know, costs of study material. So if you use analyst prep, you're gonna be saving a lot of money. If you use the discount code AFSAL20, you'll save even more money. And overall, that's still a lot cheaper than a qualification like the CFA, for example, which is in the multiple thousands of dollars. The good news is you can avoid paying for your qualification and that is because a lot of firms a lot of companies actually will pay for you to do your qualification so if you're at an investment bank and you're in a risk position they'll cover the cost similarly they cover the costs of cfa and other qualifications so that's an option that is available to you in 2018 the median pay for frms was 127 thousand dollars per year according to the u.s bureau of labor statistics employment of frms is expected to grow much quicker than the average for all occupations at 16% from 2018 to 2028. The Bureau states that the core functions of financial managers, including risk management and cash management, are expected to be in high demand over the next decade. If you're studying for the FRM or the CFA, or you plan to do so, I highly encourage you to take advantage of the 20% off offer by Analyst Prep. The link is in the video description below. If you want me to do a video where I compare the CFA versus the FRM, let me know in the comments below. Last but not least, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss future videos hit the like button if you made it this far thank you for passing by and i will see you in the next video peace